I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Jake Brummel, a senior on the Menlo School baseball team. And last week, uh, Jake uh, participated in two Central Coast Section Division Three playoff games. First in the semifinals, he pitched four and two-thirds innings of uh, scoreless relief, uh, didn't allow an earned run. Uh, he had two hits, and uh, Menlo defeated uh, number two seeded Carmel nine to eight in nine innings. And uh, Jake was the winning pitcher in that one. On Saturday, Menlo faced Santa Cruz in the CCS Division III championship game. Uh, Jake had a run-scoring single. He pitched uh, one and a third innings of scoreless relief to uh, help Menlo uh, defeat Santa Cruz 4-0, win its fifth CCS championship. And for that performance, Jake is the Palo Alto Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. Uh, interesting situation for you last week, uh, both games, semifinal and the final. You're on the mound at the end of the game, uh, celebration in each game. You get to be the center of the celebration. That had to be pretty special. It was, uh, it was quite exciting, Keith. I mean, to have an opportunity like that was definitely, I thought, once in a lifetime when it happened actually last year, and I got to be the guy on the mound for the win. And then to have it happen in such dramatic fashion against Carmel was a great experience. And then to win another CCS championship was really exciting, Just getting dogpiled. I know I have a couple of bruises and cuts to show what it's like being on the bottom of the pile. After uh, you defeated uh, Carmel and they were the number two seeded team, you're the number three seeded team, did that take a little bit of pressure off you guys, the fact that you sort of had cleared the, the biggest hurdle, the, the highest seeded team was out of the way and now it was really your championship to win? I don't think that by getting rid of Carmel it changed or it took any pressure off of us because Santa Cruz was a deserving team. I mean, they were the other team that was in the championship against us. So once Carmel was out of the way, we put all our focus on Santa Cruz and doing what we needed to beat them and win another CCS title. After winning last season, and Menlo had, had not won back-to-back -back, uh, CCS titles since 1988-1989, uh, so it's obviously tough to win back-to-back -back titles. But uh, the uh, did you guys have a real good feeling going into the championship game? What did Craig, your your coach, Craig Schoff, say to you guys to get you ready for the, the finals? He said, uh, play Menlo baseball and we should be able to do what we can and we'd be able to win. He said we were better than the team and if we just played Menlo baseball, which is pitching and defense, so we would have our way and be able to beat them. What if, During your career, what did you learn from, from Craig as far as what Menlo baseball is all about? Uh, preaching hard 90s, which is making sure we go hard all the way through the bag, pitching and defense, because I think as we've shown the past two years, it's pitching and defense that won championships. I know Santa Cruz was a great offensive team throughout the CCS tournament, but when, it, when push came to shove, the pitching and defense won. And you guys came away with your second straight uh, CCS championship. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.